folks, welcome to Calvin's God Game. Today I am going to do my monthly mix up for February. Guys, I am way behind on my videos. Work has been just really uh, taking me out, so I am way behind. So here we go with the my monthly mix up for February. The, and we're going to talk about the games I most enjoy playing and the games that were new to me. So in February, I played 67 games. Now, I played some of these games multiple times, but basically uh, 67 games. So let's talk about the games I most enjoy playing. The first one is Shadowrun Crossfire. It's a one to four players, takes about 30 to 60 minutes. It's from Catalyst Game Labs. Uh, in this, you are trying to, your shadow runners, uh, trying to take down this evil corporation and you got people coming at you and you're trying to fight them off and survive through three acts. What a great game. I really enjoy it. So that's Shadowrun Crossfire. Then we played Secret Hitler. Secret Lit Hitler is by Goat Wolf and Cabbage. Or Yeah, Goat Wolf and Cabbage. All right. Five to ten minutes to play, 45 minutes. We absolutely have a great time every time we play this game. It is so fun um, to be on either side. So it's a great game and we enjoy playing it. Everdale by Starling Games. One to four players, 40 to 80 minutes. It, I was late to the table getting to Everdale, but I really enjoy this game. Um, we play it a lot, me and my wife. We play it two player. Really enjoy it, but Everdale is such an amazing looking game. Uh, the critters are great. The buildings that you build are awesome. Guys, I really enjoy it. Then there's Aeon's End. Aeon's End by Indie Boards and Cards. One to four players. Takes about 60 minutes to play. You are these mage, uh, uh, breach mages. And so you're trying to cast spells for these breach mages to take out the monsters that are coming through these uh, breaches. So it is really good. You're trying to protect your home uh, town or home base, whatever it's called. Can't really remember at the moment. Uh, but you're trying to protect that and trying to take out the big boss all at one time. And he's got all these minions coming at you. But it is a deck builder. You're kind of building your deck as you go, buying new cards, new spells. Such a fabulous game. Really enjoy it. And there's Aventuria. Aventuria is by L Ulysses Spiel. One to four players, 45 to 180 minutes to play. Um, this one, you're also, it's an adventure card game. You are on a quest. You're trying to do certain things. Um, and once you accomplish what you're looking at or what you're trying to accomplish, you win the, win the uh, uh, scenario. But you have creatures and bad things coming at you all the time. The first part of the game, you're not really battling, but when you, you're making decisions, it's like a, um, a choose-your-own-adventure kind of uh, scenarios at the front. Then when it gets to battle time, you start drawing from your deck and doing battle. So you have a set deck, but it's really a great game. I enjoy, I enjoy Aventuria. And then Forgotten Waters. Guys, this, guys, this is Fabulous by Planet Head Games. Three to seven players, 120 minutes, 240 minutes in between that. Such a fabulous game, and the app makes it totally amazing. The... the uh, the voiceovers, everything is so thematic, and it's such a great storyline. I enjoy this game so much. I, I hope that more content will keep coming for this game. It is unbelievably good. That's Forgotten Waters by Plaid Hat Games. If you haven't played it, at least find someone who owns it and give it a shot, because I think you'll enjoy it. Now, let's talk about the New to Me games. New to Me games, Fantasy Realms. Fantasy Realms is a small card game with about 50-something cards in it, and you're trying to get the best six cards in your hand, okay? So, and there's different scoring conditions on each card, so you're trying to get the best that you can to score the most points. And after so many cards have been discarded, the game ends, and you're stuck with whatever cards you have, your six cards, and you hope that you scored enough points to win. It's a really good game. Fantasy Realms is Whiz Kids, three to six players, takes about 20 minutes to play. Great game. Apocrypha by Lone Shark Games. One to six players. This takes about 60 minutes. This is also in kind of the same realm as the uh, yeah, adventure uh, Pathfinder Adventure Card Game. So Apocrypha is an adventure card game as well. You're going to these locations. You're trying to get some stuff. But it's set with more of a horror theme, which I enjoy. It is really fun. I enjoy it a lot. Dragonfire. 
by Catalyst Game Lab. It's two to six players, takes about 60 to 90 minutes to play. This is in the Shadowrun crossover. It's not the same universe. It's in the Dungeon Dungeon Dragon universe for uh, Dragonfire, sort of. And you are um, going around and in, in, in doing the same kind of things you're doing in Shadowrun Crossfire, but this one has more of a fantasy theme, which I enjoy. And it seems to be a smidge easier. It's not easy by no means, but it's a smidge easier, and I really enjoy it. Then I played Escape from 100 million BC by IDW. One to six players, 60 to 90 minutes to play. I picked this game up because I thought, well, it's cooperative, first of all. I was like, well, it's a little different than most. You're discovering tiles as you go around, and you may run across a Tyrannosaurus Rex, uh, some other kind of dinosaur, or some kind of aquatic uh, dinosaur. And you meet all these interesting people that come through this breach that you went through to get to 100 million BC, and you're trying to get yourself back because you're in this time machine. So all these other people are coming through that that breach of in time or the rift in time that you came through. And you have to get these people back to the rift that they came out of and send them back. Such a great game. It doesn't get a lot of love. I haven't seen a lot about it, but Escape from 100 Million BC by IDW. Great game. Lucidity. Lucidity is a six-sided nightmare by Foxtail Games, one to four players, 20 to 30 minutes to play. Guys, I, I uh, this game, you're rolling dice, you're trying to fight off nightmares and not to become a nightmare, but in a single, I've only played it single player, so I'm trying to beat a nightmare and not go uh, crazy myself or lose my sanity or whatever it is. But it's a pretty good game. Um, Lucidity by Foxtail Games, one to four players. I'd like to play it with more players, before I can give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down, but I'd like to see it with more players uh, for me. Me get it to the table. Endless Pass by WizKids, two to six players, 30 minutes to play. So Endless Pass is a Viking saga. You're trying to go through this, uh, this path, this trail, and you're trying to take out as many bad guys as possible. But if you don't defeat those bad guys, they pass on to someone else. So you're also eliminating some of the other players. You want to be the only Viking standing. Fairy Tale by Z-Man Games, two to five players, 30 minutes to play. Guys, I've only played this once. It's kind of, uh, you're trying to collect sets and things in Fairy Tale. Uh, it's, I've only played it once, so I haven't really grasped all of it yet, but it seems like it's going to be a good game, and I can't wait to play some more of it. That's Fairy Tale by Z-Man Games, two to five players, 30 minutes to play. Guys, that's the games that I really enjoyed playing, and the games I got to the table that were new to me. So, what was new to you that you played? What do you enjoy playing, and what games are you looking forward to playing? Um, I've got a lot of new games I need to get to the table, so I'm always looking forward to playing new games. Guys, get a board game to the table, spend time with friends and family, and once again, thank you for watching Calvin's Guide Game.